I am in the parking lot at my son's soccer practice, just waiting for him to finish. And I really wanted to get this video. It's a bonus video. I normally post once a week, but I wanted to upload this one because on my Instagram page at Styled Mikasa, I get a lot of inbox messages of people wondering where to start with art. They want to do DIY art, but they're scared it won't turn out good. They're scared they'll hate it. And the really cool thing is, it doesn't matter. You can redo it. You can paint over the top. You can layer upon layer and it's just a process. You may love it for a month and then paint over it. You may love it for a year and then paint over it or you may keep it forever. But that's the beauty of it. It's totally up to you. So on this piece, if you did not see the first video of how I started this project, go here, watch that video first and then come back to this one and watch how I modified it when I wasn't super happy with the outcome of so you probably remember this piece if you saw me do this piece on YouTube I want to do another layer over the top I really love the dripping and the dripping has now been kind of covered up by the texture so I'm going to do more dripping over the texture so that I can see that as the primary pattern so stay tuned I'm just gonna put a lighter color I'm not super in love with the darkness of this piece so let's experiment and cover over it with something different I've now added this white color on top of the entire piece. I just wanted to lighten it all up. I wasn't liking all of the tans kind of layered on top of each other. So this white dripping on top is perfect just to lighten it up. Now I'm gonna try this next technique. I have water in this bottle along with a color called tricorn black. I'm gonna mix it and shake it together. It's about half water, half paint. And I'm just gonna drizzle it over this entire piece. You can see it's raining outside. It doesn't really matter because the paint that I have right now has water in it. I'm really just kind of practicing, testing. I've never done this before, doing all these different swirls. The paint was a little too watered down, so it really wasn't taking. I went and grabbed some paper towel, and now I'm just wiping it off and kind of starting over. But I do like the grayish tone that it gave the piece. Now for the swirly design, I used a bottle that was not watered down with tricorn black and I want to hang it in my outdoor patio. So I grabbed my pink drill set and I tried a regular screw here. I was just going to screw it into the mortar between the bricks and hang my art. After spending a little bit of time trying to get the screw to go in, I abandoned this idea because I realized I need a different kind of screw. So I'm just going to style up the space for now and I'll go get the appropriate screw later to finish it out. Adding some natural wood elements, some vases, places to hide some of the items that I have out on my patio, and then some cute little glasses, and the art will go above the sink. And now it's finished.